It was one year ago today that two Navy SEALs from Shreveport were among the 30 service members killed during an insurgent attack in Afghanistan. Lieutenant Commander Jonas Kelsall and Chief Petty Officer Rob Reeves were graduates of Caddo Magnet High School. They grew up together, they went to school together, they both became Navy SEALs with the Elite Team 6. And tonight, in a special report, I spoke with Rob's father Jim about how he's coping one year later and about Rob's legacy. It's natural to feel sad when someone we love It has a big hole in my heart, you know. This, there's going to be a gap in my life forever. Dies suddenly. It's been a year of reflection and uh, of thinking about Rob, of course, I think about him every day. We never forget the somber images of their caskets draped and the powerful words describing their sacrifices. These heroes did it for their mates, they did it for each other, and they did it because courage and bravery were not just words and concepts, but virtues that they hung their lives upon. And what's left behind for family members of the fallen are more than the pictures, medals, and notes of what used to be. If I could have one wish, it would be one more chat around, around the table, Rob and me. <laughs> there are the good memories to hold on to. The kitchen table is what held every, everybody together. Yeah. And uh, Rob used to say, he didn't want anything in this house. He said, when you die, I want the kitchen table. That's the only thing he wanted. Senior Petty Officer Rob Reeves was a larger-than-life kind of guy who loved to make people laugh. And we should celebrate that, just like his comrades did during his burial at sea. Bobby! Rob never bragged about the job protecting us. No reward needed. Which makes this image ironic. His five bronze stars and so many other distinguished medals. If you didn't know that he was a Navy SEAL and a sniper and had done hundreds and hundreds of missions, you would never know it just talking to him. That's just who Rob was. Carefree, loving, and yes, a patriot. Whose legacy can only make a proud father look back with a smile. And, you know, I hate that it ended at 32 for Rob, but it makes me appreciate every day that I've got going forward. Jim Reeves tells me that he has been in contact with LSU in Baton Rouge and the Navy SEAL Museum in Fort Pierce, Florida to donate some of Rob's Navy SEAL's Team 6 memorabilia, which of course will keep his legacy alive.